Hey everyone, welcome to the Juniper Links accounting channel. My name is Caroline and today we're going to talk about free agent and how to pay expenses. So if you're running your own company, chances are you've got some out of pocket expenses that you want to claim. And what we'll do is walk you through step by step how to do this within free agent software. So without further delay, let's get started with the video. Okay, so before we look at how to pay expenses in free agent, we're going to have to first make sure that you've got your expenses up to date. And what I mean by that is expenses, the ones that are reimbursable, would only be paid for with a personal bank account or credit card or cash. So essentially, if the expenses come out of the business bank account, they would automatically be imported as part of the bank statement in the banking section. So when you import your transactions to the banking section or have a bank feed set up, all of the business bank account transactions would be imported onto free agent and then you can explain what each one is for. So of course, when you get to the expense amount, for example, you paid for some software costs, you can explain that as a payment of computer software. So free agent will have all of these categories so you can pick from and explain it straight from the bank account instead. However, if you have spent money on something that was intended for the business, like 100% business use, but you bought it with a personal card or cash, uh, you need to reclaim these from the company somehow. So if it's an allowable expense, and I do have a video on that, uh, which I'll link down below, then you can add them into a different section of free agent under the my money section. And there is a drop down called expenses. So in here, you'll be able to add in those expenses that would not show on the business bank account. And you can also add in other items that physically wouldn't come out of your business bank account anyway, such as the use of home allowance or the mileage allowance. Now that we've got some of that out of the way, let's actually see how this looks like in practice. The first thing we'll need to do is create your first expense. Now they do have an import function, but we're not going to do that today. Just to show you how this works, it'll be simplest to create an expense through free agent. Okay, so now we've got a few options here. You'll notice the first section is payment. Uh, and the other option you've got is refund. So this is useful if you bought something and then had to return it later. Um, so rather than deleting the initial expense, you would instead create a refund to show that reversal. And the next drop down box is the category options. So in here you can actually pick what expense this was for. Of course, just because the categories are in here doesn't mean that the expense is allowable for your company. So you just have to be careful that what you are claiming for is 100% for the business, or if it's not 100%, uh, then it has to be a fair apportionment based on the business versus personal use elements. Okay, so for example, let's say I have purchased a microphone for business use that I'm going to use in my company. It wasn't a very expensive microphone. It was only about £40, let's say. So I'm going to use the expense category called office equipment for this one. And let's say I've purchased this on the 1st of July. And we'll leave the currency in pounds sterling, but you have many, many options here if you do buy something in a different currency and it'll automatically convert this to a GBP value based on the transaction date. Um, let's say my business is not that registered yet, so I'm going to leave it as auto VAT and that's just going to put it at 20% because office equipment is generally a VAT-able expense. <laughs> And these other boxes down here are totally optional. So receipt reference, if you have some kind of referencing system that you use for your business expenses, for the receipts that you keep and invoices, then you can put that in here. Um, if you want to link it to a project, so for example, you're working on a specific project and you want to either rebuild this expense to your client, or if you wanted to just track the profitability of a particular project, then you can link it to that here and then it'll give you the option to rebuild the expense if you wanted to. So this is not related, so I'm just going to put none. It's just a generic expense for my company. And recurring options, so if you had a recurring expense that's the same amount each month, or even each week, or annually, then you can also use this so it'll automatically generate the expense for you. Just beware that it will not go backwards. <laughs> And finally, you've got an attachment section where you can actually select files to attach if you had a relevant receipt and you were tracking them all on free agent. Okay, so now that we've got our expense details in here, I'm going to create the new expense. And there we go. 
So we've got a microphone purchase under office equipment. Uh, it's automatically generated a VAT amount, which is not going to do anything with if there are no VAT details on the software. Okay, so now that we've got our expense in here, um, what I recommend doing normally is just adding in all of the expenses to date that you want to repay yourself for because you can then just create a one-off payment to yourself and not have to pay yourself back for each individual expense from the business bank account and have many transfers going out that way. Um, instead, you can add in all of the expenses that you want to claim for, make sure the dates match the receipts and everything like that. It should default to the specific month you're in. So now you can see there's a spent column. These are the expenses we've added into the software. And then there's a repaid column, which will be updated once you actually set up the transfer to yourself from the business bank account and explain that transaction in the banking section as a payment to yourself for expenses. So as you can see, the balance owed is currently £42. If I had added five more transactions, um, and let's say that totaled another £42, then the total here would be instead £84 that is owed back to whoever is claiming the expenses here because you can have multiple users as well. So in this case, I'm just gonna go with 42 pounds is owed to me at the moment. I have no other expenses to claim. So I'm going to go ahead and pay myself for this expense. Um, and to do that, you would just log into your online banking, set up a transfer to yourself and reference it something like expense reimbursement or expense repayment, just to clarify what it's for basically. And then if you have an automatic bank feed set up already with the business bank account, it should appear in your business current account, usually within the next day or so. And in some cases, this can happen faster, depending on what type of bank feed it is and which bank account you're currently using. So in my case, I don't have a bank feed set up. So what I'm going to do is import a CSV file. Um, and just keep in mind with CSV files, you will need to do some formatting because unfortunately the banks don't provide the information the simplest way. So there, are, there is some extra data in there that free agent doesn't necessarily recognize and we need to delete it basically. So they do have a help page on how to make sure you're your CSV file is formatted. So you'd need to open it up in something like Excel or numbers. And then you'd want to make sure that the, the format is exactly this. So the first column is date, the second column is the amount, and the third column is the description. And what you need to do as well, not only make sure it's in that order, and all other information needs to be deleted from the file. So no extra columns in there providing more description information. It just has to be very like these three columns and that's it. You also need to right click on each column at the top and make sure it's formatted. For example, the date, day, month, and the year in like a standard format. Column B, you would need to right click on that and then make sure it's formatted as a number to two decimal places. And column C, you don't really have to format that one as long as it's just plain text. And you'll need to save it, make sure it's a CSV file rather than an Excel format or anything like that. So for example, it says here, <laughs> make sure it's .csv, not .xls or .xlsx. And once you've got that saved, importing it onto FreeAgent should work. And I've got my CSV file selected and I want to update it to the business current account. And I'm going to untick guest explanations just in case it does something funky. Um, obviously you are welcome to use this option and in most cases it's absolutely fine. It's just for example's sake, I want to make sure that they're not explained yet um, so I can show you what it looks like. Okay, so upload statement. Excellent, so now I can review my transactions and I've got two payments coming in here. So. The first one is a transfer from a personal account. So this is essentially a loan to my company from myself because I needed to get some money in there in order to repay myself for the expense. Um, and you'll notice when I click on it, the first thing that free agent will do is try to mark as a sale, which usually makes sense for money coming in. But in this case, I've actually paid my company. So what I need to do is change this type to money received from user. And then you've got some other options here. So you've got received from the person that has paid the money in, which in this case is right, it's just me. And then the category payment to direct or loan account. And coincidentally, this is the category that I was looking for. It's going to be a temporary payment to the loan account while I wait for my company to have enough money in there to pay myself. So that's correct. And I'm going to explain that transaction. Perfect. Okay. And now the second 
payment is an expense reimbursement to myself for those expenses that we mentioned. So what I'm going to do is open up the My Money Expenses section in a new tab. And we can see here the balance owed. It's still £42. Nothing's changed. Free agent doesn't know what to do with this payment yet. <laughs> so what I will do is click on it and make sure instead of explaining it again with a new expense category, if we did that, it would literally duplicate the expense, which is not what we want. We want to make sure that this first box called type is money paid to user. So you'll notice anytime you're paying yourself or paying money into the company from yourself, it's always going to be money paid to user or money received from user. And then we want to make sure that the category is correct. So net salary and bonuses is not really what I'm looking for this time around. Um, and instead I want to make sure it's as an expense payment. So once I've got that selected and I click on explain transaction, okay, and what I will do now is go to the expenses section that I had up and I will refresh the page. Okay, so now you can see free agent is fully at work here and it's marked this expense reimbursement that was a transfer in the business bank account. And when we correctly explained it as money paid to user expense payment, you can see it's come up here in the repaid column and that's exactly what we want because now the balance owed is back down to zero pounds which is correct because I fully reimbursed myself for this expense and that is essentially how to pay expenses using free agent software it's not that difficult what you want to make sure first and foremost is that the software is fully up to date so you want to make sure all of your out-of-pocket expenses are in there and by out-of-pocket they should not appear anywhere in your business bank account at all they should only be payments from a personal account a personal card or cash so no trace in the business banking whatsoever um, because those transactions will be explained when you actually import your bank statement or they'll get pulled through automatically with the bank feeds and then you can explain them from there thank you so much for watching till the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did then do click that thumbs up button so we know we did a good job if you want to see more content like this then do consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you click the notification bell to make sure that you get notified every time we upload a new video and if you have any questions then feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can thank you so much again for watching and i hope you guys have an amazing day